The payroll item management tool lets you manage your pay types, deductions, and contributions in one place. You can create, assign, view, edit, or make them inactive from the tool instead of editing each employee's profile. This can help you save time if you have a lot of employees or pay items. We'll show you how to get to the payroll item management tool and take advantage of all the features. Let's get started. Go to Payroll and select Employees. Select Edit Payroll Items. Here you can expand to see your existing pay types or deductions and contributions. Or you can create a new payroll item. In this example, we will set up a health insurance deduction. Select New Payroll Item. Then select the type of payroll item you need. Add or choose the additional info to set up the item. Then select Create. Next, you'll need to assign your employees to the item. Select Assign Employee or Employees, then choose the employees who need the item. Select Next. Enter the rate or amount to deduct for each payroll. Select Save. If the amounts differ for each employee, select Edit for an individual employee to change the amount. Select Done. To make changes to existing payroll items, expand the type, then select your item. You'll see the current employees assigned. To add an employee, select Assign Employee or Employees. To remove one employee, select this drop-down for that employee. Then select Unassign Employee. To change the amount or rate for an employee, select Edit. To edit the payroll item name, select Edit. You can't edit the names of some payroll items. If you need to make changes to multiple employees at once, select the employees. Then you can choose to edit or unassign. Your changes will affect all selected employees. Finally, you can make some payroll items inactive or reactivate them if needed. You can't do this for some pay types. First, unassign all active and inactive employees from the payroll item. Then select Make Inactive, then Done. To reactivate an item, expand the type, then select Inactive. Select the item, then select Make Active. Assign employee or employees or edit the item if needed. Then select Done. And that's it. Now you know how to use the Payroll Item Management Tool.